Alright, come on, back in your seats. We haven't got all night here. <laughs> This is the this movie was my uh, my first picture and my only picture for HBO. And if you don't um, have HBO, then you know it's hard to see these things because uh, they don't really run very many other places. Although this one was released in Europe, and that's why I have a print. But um, uh, this was um, done in uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with La Cienega and Santa Monica, but there's a big Walgreens there hmm. that it used to be a roller rink. And uh, that was a clothing store or something. And we, we happened to catch um, uh, catch them just at the time the clothing store was closed. And so we were able to build a newsroom inside this um, big office, this big structure. And it, it's, it's, it's a pretty low budget movie, but it's, it looks pretty good because of it. Um, Barry Levinson produced this movie. And uh, I think probably he planned to direct it. But um, then he decided to do Wag the Dog, which is slightly similar territory. And uh, I, you know, I inherited it. It's, um, it's all the while we were making the picture, we were looking at the newspapers every day, and the headlines in the newspapers always seemed to be about the same things that we were um, shooting that day. Uh, and it's over the years, I've, I've, I've run it for various groups, and, and always different things stick out because different topical aspects of things are going on. That are, uh, that are, in the movie, uh, immigration, of course, is a, is a big item now, and it, it was more so than it was when we made this. And, and, and the, the nice thing for me was that it's a huge cast. It's got 90 speaking parts, and it's um, the best cast I ever worked with. And when you see all the names of the people, uh, you'll see why. And it's got a lot of people. Who, all, all my friends are in it, of course, and uh, but, but uh, everybody else. And it's uh, uh, you know, it's, it's it's the kind of movie they really don't let you make for theaters anymore, as wrong as right. Uh, this is the kind of material that for a while was only being done on, uh, on cable TV. And now it's not at all. Now you've got to have like, two of your costumes and other people that you know, can get <laughs> But um, it's, uh, I, I'm sure, I, I, I don't know, I, I think it's one of my better things. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to run, I didn't want to run too many of my own stuff because it, that's sort of like not yeah, a festival, it's like some sort of, you know, show off thing. So there's, all, so there's an interesting only too, except that, that unbeknownst to me, uh, they programmed a bunch of midnight stuff um, you know, than I did. So I'm re more represented than I wanted to be. But uh, anyway, here, here after the uh, usual obscure trailers, <laughs> and some of these were pretty obscure. I mean, I'll bet you guys haven't seen Slash of the Knife Guy. You <laughs> knew it didn't exist. The other night we ran a trailer for a picture called The Wacky World of Dr. Morris, which I had no idea. I think he was a local horror show host who somehow had a, a picture made about him. It was, it was very bizarre. And I, I apologize in advance for the preponderance of Bowery Boys trailers because I, I would really rather they were Abbott and Costello trailers, but and some of these trailers I just didn't want to go through and pull out, you know, the, the ringers. And so you'll see Hunts again. But, uh, anyway, I, I, I hope you like the movie, and um, I, I think at the very least you'll find it very interesting. Okay.